welcome to a wonderful, wonderful, wet, very wet, two days of wet. I'm that wet. I actually looked last night and I think I've got gills. And I'm jumping straight into this video with me walking and talking because the video is going to be called The Wanderer. And I'm not wandering far. Some of you will recognise where I am, but by the end of today, I hope you don't have a clue, because that's my goal. We're heading up to Grange, wandering through mud. And yeah, what, what appears to be a path that's now a stream. Excuse me timing stone, I cut. Right, that's the wet stuff negotiated. Welcome again, we'll try again. I'm heading up to Grange first because <laughs> something magical happened. And this is why this video is called The Wanderer. Anyway, today is The Wanderer. I am The Wanderer. And I want you to be and come along The Wanderer with me. Let's just, let's just stop. I'm so out of shape. You definitely, if you know this area as a landscape photographer, will recognise that's Castle Crag, King's Owl, and we're heading up there. Now for a fleeting moment then, in what I can only describe as a humongous downpour, <laughs> we got some light. And we're on for a, an eight hour wander today because the colours of autumn are sweet. They're changing quick, so I have caught it just at the right time. I feel some trees have fallen bare, but at this time of year, the oaks are turning. We've still got berries on this hawthorn. I think it's hawthorn, yeah. But look at this colour, look at that. So I came here because of the colour, because of the birch. And uh, each year I tend to miss it or I'm just either side too early, too late. Well, last year I was too early. And I've got a photograph that I've had printed two metres and I've had to split it. A bit arty, split it down the middle. It's probably on screen now. You can see it. This is up in my house, in my kitchen. And I'm so proud of this image. This was in a deluge of rain. <laughs> well, it looks like we could be having some more coming our way. Oh. I just love it here. You could spend a lifetime shooting here, but we're not, don't worry. I'm not gonna keep you that long. <laughs> I've shot this scene about four times now, and it always draws me back. But when this color's like this, how could you resist this stand? These birch, just uniform and all that colour. Oh, incredible. A great sight now. <laughs> a great sight to the eye, but to get it in a photograph, it is, it, there's a lot going on. So I've, I've, I'm looking at a letterbox, so I do love a 16 by nine with woodland and getting the pano style, maybe not stacked because I've just done this one handheld so it's a it's a mally panel of a stand of birch and I reckon the crop at the top and a little bit off the bottom should give me uh, the view that I'm seeing with my mind's eye but the background is just full of dappling painterly ah beautiful I'll pop the shot up now what? It 
be much of a title, would it? If I call something The Wanderer and then I stick to a plan. Would it? It wouldn't be very good that now, would it? I wouldn't be much of a wanderer. I'd be more of a planner. Well, I'm staying true to my word as the wanderer today. Because we, we've just backed off Big Rock, walked around, come up here. Oh. I know I'm all blown out and trying to be cool with me. Bokeh, bokeh, flowery effect. Japanese style of photography, which I think was coined in the 1930s. Come on, you know what I'm saying. That vlogger background, today I am the wanderer. Don't work, does it? This kind of accent just doesn't happen, does it? Hey, right, so we're wandering. No plans. Bugger Grange, we're going back down. We're doing a turnaround and we're going back down and we're going, we're going where I did think I wanted to go, which again is planned. It's very difficult to just wander, you know. Your mind's always preconceiving. Let's go here, let's go there. But no, we're gonna wander. Look at this. I hope you're enjoying it. Ladies and gentlemen, if you get a chance, I've come to Boulderstone's car park today. The place is empty. Now, I don't normally say or divulge my places because I want to keep them to myself, nice and clean. Take your rubbish home and all that. Eh? But this place, it's synonymous, isn't it? Right, home fell. Cut to some shots, actually. No, we won't cut. I'll put the shots in at the end. See, this is all on the fly, the wanderer. What am I on about? Well, on Thursday, I had a couple of days off work and I thought, right, come on, me, my lovely wife and my two beautiful girls. <sighs> they don't hate me now, honestly, they really enjoyed it. I took them to home, fell in what I can only describe as the most amount of rain um, you can get on you in 10 minutes. On you, on you, that's, that's yik or belange, <laughs> twang. The most amount of rain you can get on you in 10 minutes it was unbelievable. Unbelievable how much rain up here there's been. And they loved it. They loved it till my little and fell over, cheer to finger. But we was all doing well. Got, I didn't take them up to the top of home fell. We kind of went to the side towards, heading towards Oxen fell that way. And, and it was wonderful, wonderful to be out and wandering with my family, the full family, and no vlogging. I was going to do a live, and then I thought, no, I don't do lives, I don't do stories, and I'm not using my kids and my family for say, oh, look at me having a wonderful time. It wasn't a wonderful time. It was a deluge of water. We were soaked at bone, but we all loved it and had a wonderful time. So the shots, yeah, because I did take my camera. Come on, give me a break. I'm not going up there without my camera. You never know what could happen. And what happened, you never know. The clouds started unfurling. The wind was gusting through and all the rain was hitting us. And then there'd be these moments of clarity where the clouds had lift and they were still moving past all the birch and it was absolutely stunning. And I made them stand on a rock for 15 minutes while this took place. So thank you, family. You are wonderful. And I hope everyone else watching this enjoys some of those pictures mixed in with today's pictures at the end. Right, I'm gonna shut up and get down off here. And we're, well, let's get a wandering to the... Wandering will go, a wandering will go. Bog squelch, bog squelch. A wandering will go. Look at those stripes and colours. Now, straight away, the preconceived idea of the non wandering man or lady is to go intimate here. But now, with this atmosphere, 
and the silver of those birch squelch I think I can get a wide shot 24 mil oh wow oh that's pure bog but here we are a wandering we go and we found second time I've been here first time we came up this end here and right round the back which was a little bit daunting let me tell you but I'm going to try this shot wide here and see what we can get looking at this scene now as the rain is torrential that could actually be quite a nice little panel can you see the ridge line of the slate it's rhythmic it, it just follows all the way around and then the colour above the contrast of the slate and then the colour of the trees I'm going to have to get shelter and come back for this because I can see there's, there's quite a bit of bright light coming so it may, it may just ease off enough to get this shot what I'm thinking which is a pano of the slate and these trees I think just there to the the, the wee bendy Scots pine and then coming round with the birch and, and the oak the oak here are especially beautiful at the moment there's green, orange, yellow full on autumn the oaks are the last to go and today well happy very happy and very wet so I'm going to stop talking because I have to drop the mic and put them in my pocket because the road mics are not waterproof road make a waterproof mic and I'm uh, as good as a duck in muck see the in a bit so we're heading back to the van uh, the rain has it's got the best of me oh, I keep seeing shots though and I am getting a little bit concerned about the road mics and I really can't afford to replace them hence why there's been radio silence since the quarry I've had a walk around, been looking for different shots, picked out a few. I've took my time on a couple, but I don't think they've worked out. We'll see at the end. Uh... Ah, the wonderful Lakeland mood. Ah, it's been on such form today unbelievable downpours and colour oh, just look at this scene so I think we're going to end it here some big cuts in this video cut, cut, cut I always put one of them in so I know where I am and when I get back sometimes it's like 20 videos of me saying cut but this one has been a real wonder and thanks for sticking with me and uh, quite a few images throughout this video and there's going to be quite a few images at the end so thanks so much for all your support for watching being subscribed if you're not click subscribe and well wandering and wandering and wandering throughout the Lake District there's only one thing left to say, and that's... See you there!